a lot of people are afraid of Josh Allen, but don't really want to admit it. It's the Kingpin back with another video. I've been seeing a lot of disrespect when it comes to my man, Josh Allen. Oh, he can't win MVP. He shouldn't even be in the conversation. So I'm gonna take it upon myself to convince the people why Josh Allen can easily be in the MVP conversation in 2020. Now look, we have to start off at the very beginning. Many were wrong when it came down to evaluating Josh Allen, including me. Clearly, most of us were wrong. You kind of have to take a step back and try to understand why was I wrong when I initially evaluated Josh Allen. I'm, I'm re-watching the tape and I'm like, he's still making bad plays here and there. It's, it's the same tape. And then I realized like, wait a minute, it was never really about Josh Allen the entire time. Now, I'm not sure if there's been a lot of NFL talent that has, you know, came out of Wyoming, but I don't think he had many. He comes in his rookie season. He barely got first team reps because the battle was against Nate Peterman and AJ McCarron. And then he came in and he, and he had arguably the worst offensive line in football, you know, passing the players like a, you know, Kelvin Benjamin, Andre Holmes, and then the following year, you give him an entirely revamped offensive line. John Brown and Cole Beasley, who are both respectable targets, and his play got even better. So that tells me, okay, wait a minute. That's what it is. It was never really Josh Allen. Yes, of course, you know, Josh Allen would have loved, you know, throws back even in college, but it was really the lack of talent around him. So not only did the Bills give Josh Allen better talent, but those talents had their best seasons under Josh Allen. So when I went back this offseason and rewatched every game, I noticed the pattern. They managed to put points up in the first quarter in almost every game. And something else that was pretty consistent was that Josh Allen was the best quarterback in football in the fourth. So in the first quarter and in the fourth quarter, all throughout the season last year, Josh Allen was pretty consistent. A lot of people want to focus on, well, Josh Allen put us in holes. He was the reason why we weren't blowing out teams. It was his turnovers. He put us in position to where he had to come back. The fact that he was able to come back should tell you something in itself. A lot of quarterbacks can't do that. A lot of quarterbacks may put a team in a bad position and not be able to figure a way out. We've all heard the saying, leave everything out on the field. The one thing I do know is that Josh Allen is willing to leave everything, including a lateral, in order to make a play for this team. We all know the one thing Josh Allen needs to fix is the deep ball. If Josh Allen fixes the deep ball, that puts him in MVP conversation by itself. He's already one of the best quarterbacks from zero to 19 yards. He's already one of the best quarterbacks in the first quarter. He's already the best quarterback in the fourth. And he doesn't have a deep ball that can help him out in the second and third. Adding a Stefan Diggs, an elite <laughs> wide receiver. He's not a John Brown and Cole Beasley. Much respect to them. He's an elite wide receiver. Fix the deep ball. Josh Allen is MVP, period. If you agree, go ahead and type MVP in the comments. If you don't, let me know why. It's the Kingpin and I'm out.